in the hope of answering that question. And then in the next one, we did ums, which was aluminium, beryllium, uh, titanium, and uh, and we did uh, explore that. And then for the last one, we did uh, uh, eights, which is cellulose acetate, polycarbonate, polymethyl methacrylate, um, in the hope that I would be able to tell this story about plastics. And actually, again, the eight doesn't really mean anything to you as, as designers. It's it's something to do with chemical molecular uh, structure, but it was fun to write. And then this is making it. And with making it, again, you know, it was another opportunity to find stories. And stories that I, were re I was really excited oh, wow. by. And if you wanted to understand about dip molding as a process, to show the tooling is a really interesting story. Anyway, so that's me. So a little bit of designer, a little bit of a writer, amongst a few other things. Now, I want to talk about go back to this idea of stories and materials. And I, wa I want to show you some furniture that I think just locates where we are at the moment in terms of design and the importance of materials and what it means now to apply materials in a design process. Now, this is the uh, number 14 chair from Thonet. And when this was developed, the innovation here is obviously to bend a piece of wood, solid wood using steam, to make it flexible, to make it unnaturally flexible. Now the story